Hello there, weather friends. It's social meteorologist Bob Clubs here to give you an update. It's about 7 o'clock on Saturday evening. I want to give you all of the latest on Winter Storm Hook, our first named storm of the season and the first storm to warrant a one-gallon freakout that was issued for you this morning. Hopefully you're making preparations accordingly. I want to give you a look at all of the maps and all of the latest information that I've been looking at to give you an idea of what we're currently expecting with Winter Storm Hook. There'll be another run of the models later that might refine things a little bit, but this is a general idea for you. Somebody's about to put us over 9,400 weather friends, so if you haven't already gotten your friends connected, please do so. I always like to tell you to go to a PC, go to my page, and make sure that you've selected Get Notifications. That will put a notification uh, on your page anytime something new is posted. Also, if you use the Twitters, I'm over there at Weather Clubs. Mostly what I'm doing over there is retweeting other information. Um, so it's not a huge overlap of information between what I post on the page and what I post here. Um, but just things that I find interesting, I share out on the Twitter page. So if you want all of the weather information, make sure you follow me on Twitter as well. The National Weather Service has uh, gone ahead and issued some winter weather advisories across the southern part of Missouri uh, with the exception of the Missouri Boot Hill. Although I did read that the National Weather Service in Memphis, which actually covers the Boot Hill, is considering adding. Uh, you can see kind of where they would connect the dots there. Uh, but So we'll be on the lookout to see if a little bit more purple doesn't get added to the map there. But those are winter weather advisories in effect through Monday morning. Let's take a look at uh, the Weather Prediction Center. Uh, run of what we might expect. This is a map currently of probability of snow accumulating over one inch. It, they are looking fairly confident according to the blending of model runs that we will probably see that near Cape. They've got a 95 percent probability that snowfall would accumulate to um, to an inch 90 percent for the rest of us down here. So it's looking fairly certain that will receive about at least an inch of precipitation. Uh, when I went ahead and bumped us up to the one gallon freakout this morning was uh, when I was seeing some stuff to this effect. Once we get up to an inch, I think that, that a lot of people are doing some freaking out. Let me bump this up to two inches and show you what it does. That keeps us here in Cape and Jackson under a 70 to 80 percent chance that we would accumulate uh, up to two inches. And then even if you bump it up to four inches, the possibility is still there. It is a light, but they've got us at a 20 to 40. 20 to 30 percent chance that snow would accumulate over four inches. Just uh, if you're really hoping for a white Monday, there's only um, a very, very slim chance that we would get over six inches. But um, definitely some chances for some accumulating snowfall to come down with a winter storm hook on a Sunday night. As we continue to look at some different model runs, um, we can see how this one might play out. Um, as you can see, this is for tonight's event that's already underway, this uh, light snow and uh, rain event that's a sleet and rain that's underway. Um, there's really a lot of dry air over the area right now, so this particular model is not very enthusiastic that we would get much precipitation it sort of dies out as it gets over southeast Missouri but I'm sure that we will continue to uh, to maybe hear some light sleet throughout the evening wouldn't be surprised if uh, as things cool down a little bit we don't see a few snowflakes in the air as well um, tomorrow of course is is uh, when we're really expecting things to be a little bit more significant uh, basically what's going to happen with winter storm hook tomorrow is uh, precipitation is going to start to kind of flow in and um, as always, temperatures will determine a lot of what happens. If it stays as rain where you are for a longer period of time, your accumulation of snowfall will go down. But it is wanting to throw in, as you can see, a little mix of uh, sleet and freezing rain uh, in different areas to kind of start things off. But there is a large amount of rain associated with this. What we've got is we've got some moisture being pulled up and colliding. This is actually some very, very cold air that's going to be behind this. It's looking like 
Monday night into Tuesday morning will be the coldest that we have been so far. Temperatures well down into the teens uh, for that on Monday night. Um, but as it changes over and into snow, you can really see that snow kind of uh, is pushing in. This particular model run is probably a little bit further to the north than a lot of things are. So I would just go ahead and just have you just imagine things are just kind of um, sliding down uh, here. That really does take everything just a little bit farther north than most of the other model runs have, but it really does tell the story as you can see here. Maybe if we just kind of imagine the rest of this kind of filled in with precipitation, I'm not really sure why it's not. Um, but that it is going to be again a matter of when can this cold air coming in from the northwest uh, change this over to snow and that's going to determine a lot of where this is going to happen. If I go back to that uh, weather prediction center and I zoom that out a little bit I can show you where the greatest uh, chances of accumulating snowfall are expected to be and that is right along the uh, Ohio River uh, right out here is where they really do hold on to some greater chances of snow as we bump those numbers up. A lot of the models are showing that that's probably where the thickest band of snowfall would accumulate is southern Indiana and northern Kentucky uh, for right along the Ohio River counties there. But again, uh, we have definitely enough of a chance for some accumulating snow for you know, our first snowfall of the season um, is certainly looking like it could it could produce. So the overall story has been, as we've been telling you, that today's event sort of faded out and tomorrow's event is sort of bumping up a little bit. So we'll have to continue to see if the information that comes out later tonight and then certainly tomorrow morning continues to tell that story. But uh, as of right now, Winter Storm Hook warrants a one gallon freak out from the Department of Social Meteorology and a winter weather advisory from the National Weather Service. So we're definitely going to be continuing to watch this and post all the latest information. And certainly we are hoping that tomorrow as things begin to happen, that our vast network of weather friends throughout the area will feel free to use the text number to share your observations and particularly your photos. We would like to be able to post lots of photos tomorrow as things get rolling with winter storm hook with uh, winter precipitation across the area so feel free to go ahead and uh, send photos and text observations wherever you are just make sure that you include your name and your location so that uh, we can credit you appropriately on the page so that's the latest at seven o'clock on saturday night i'm social meteorologist bob clubs watching winter storm hook so you don't have to